Every last Friday night of the month, cruise the airwaves and savor the sound on Radio Café. A place where we vibe to the rhythms and savor the beats from hidden gems to classic all stars. On Radio Café. Kick back and enjoy the ride. Experience the flavor through sound. On Radio Café. Once again, welcome to another edition right here of Radio Café from the Arlene Francis Center. Please give it up for yourself one time. Yeah, we're right here on La Onda Bajita Radio Café, KPFA 94.1 FM, bringing you a special lineup tonight. We got folks from the community, from the Bay Area and beyond. Uh, tonight we got Rasteria, we got Johnny B, Nick Nico Oda, Otis, and uh, as well as uh, Lyric Raven. We got the Bossa Nova duo, Nick Otis and Matt Silva coming through right here. And let's not forget the legendary Johnny Otis. May he rest in peace. And definitely thank you for all his good work that he did in the community, especially on KPFA Airwaves. And right now we're getting ready to take it away. We got Rasteria who's going to be coming up first. And doing a live set right here for us, a little acapella. Come on up, Rasteria, and please give it up for her. Here we go. And why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell folks uh, already where they can find your music. Sure, thank you, Pedro. Um, well, I'm a producer, engineer, artist. These two songs you're gonna hear tonight are actually brand new. It's my first time performing them live, so Thank you. And um, all right. <laughs> Cuando digas que me quieres tanto como yo te quiero, y entonces yo sabré el porqué de este silencio. Cuando el sol salga de noche y la luna por el día. Que me quieres como te quiero Cuando de las nubes negras cae una tormenta solar Solo espero ese día ah, ah, ah. Solo espero ese día Ese día tan dichoso un siglo de mil años alegría infinito cuando el sol salga de noche y la luna por el día que me quieres como te quiero cuando de las nubes negras cae una tormenta solar solo espero ese día Ni la distancia borrarán de mí tu nombre Solo podré olvidarte cuando el sol salga de noche Aunque solo sea un momento, será un momento para el recuerdo Un momento sin tiempo, un momento eterno Cuando el sol salga de noche y la luna por el día que me quieres como te quiero Cuando de las nubes negras cae una tormenta solar Solo espero ese día El sol salga de noche y la luna por el día Que me quieres como te quiero Cuando de las nubes negras cae una tormenta solar Solo espero
Thank you. A piece of those lyrics were written by my dad. So, Carlos Peñalosa. I just discovered he was a songwriter, you know, like after my whole life. <laughs> so I inherited something from him. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. So this next one is also brand new and still in process. So the mix isn't quite there. It's called Respira or Breathe. <laughs> El camino no es recto, pero sí co. Dejo todo atrás que ya no sirve. Mis memorias se van creando con cada desafío. Dejo mi huella en la arena. Se va a inundar bajo las olas del mar y renacer en forma divina. Disfruto plenamente del presente Lo que sucede suele suceder Voy cambiando poquito a poco Con armonía y amor Oruga a mariposa Voy a despejar dejando las nubes detrás Quemándome en rayos solares Gracias, obrigado, merci beaucoup, <laughs> arigato. <laughs> Radio Café. Yeah, give it up for René otra vez. Once again, Rasteria in the house. Where are you going? Come back over here. Ven aquí, por favor. That's right, we want to ask you a couple questions before you go. No, no hay problema. Usted, so tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, how long you've been making music and what's going on. Okay, well, I've been making music, like writing songs since I was like 12, but uh, producing them and actually working with KPFA since like, what, like 2009 or so, maybe even before then. Um, but uh, I'm a producer, engineer, uh, musician, singer, songwriter. Um, 
Uh, I just released my eighth album. It's called Space to Play, and you can find it on Spotify if you want. But um, I'm half Bolivian, half Dutch. I grew up in the States. Uh, I didn't grow up in the States. I grew up in France. I was born in the States, and I came to uh, the Bay Area as uh, at 21. And I've been here kind of ever since. I just kind of got drawn in actually by music and by the community. And um, I, yeah, I'm just appre really appreciative because, you know, this process of producing music, it's just, it's like I was saying actually to Nico, who's coming uh, after is, is like, you're a channel, right? And all of these songs, they're just like flowing out of you. And it's, it's, it's just a gift to be able to, to be able to make this. And I, I just like, every time something new comes out, I'm just like, oh, Oh my God. And it, I just feel like that's, that's what, that's what life's about, right? Every little piece, every little, yeah. Um, so I don't know, that was a little vague, but, <laughs> but um, I really appreciate the opportunity. Um, you know, we've been all kind of sitting in our homes, a lot of us alone, but we're now all coming out again. And like, I was thinking like this whole venue you have here, like almost felt like I like traveled to like another planet almost, or like another country at least, like, like I'm in Buenos Aires or something like here, this beautiful, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, Santa Rosa, right? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, that's... <laughs> Anything else? No, no, I'm just, um, yeah, I'm just, I, I'm always open for collaborating. Oh, and I should point out that those songs, both of the songs you heard are unreleased. And um, my co-producer, his name is Dave Schul. He's a... Uh, also very, very established musician in the Bay Area, works with a lot, a lot of great bands um, and like really is pushing me. Like I, I really enjoy that. And, and, you know, I'm open to collaborating. So please, you know, reach out to me. I'm directly reachable through all of the social media stuff. So um, yeah, yeah, uh, Rasteria with a Z. That's R-A-Z-T-E-R-I-A. -E and that's on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Um, yeah, everything, Spotify, but I guess you can't reach out to people on Spotify. But anyway, so any one of those, um, reach out. And um, as I said, like I'm an engineer too, and I, um, I have a little home studio, so we can get things done. Yeah. <laughs> Just to just to start wrapping it up, uh, you know, because this is going to be the last uh, for the last Friday of the month of December. So we're looking at the new year. Uh, tell us any any hopes for the new year, 2022, new new sacred circle life beginning. Yeah, I, me personally, for my myself, I'm I'm trying to, you know, come to fruition a lot of the dreams I've had to like get more involved in community efforts, I guess. You know, I, I feel like my life has been um, very focused on um, being practical and getting things done, and that includes music, and obviously music, in, you know, involves community, but I always kind of have this, this um, dream to, to build something that's a little more concrete, that's spreading the resources, spreading the love, be it through, you know, actual either technical assistance, like helping other artists, for example, but here, but then also, probably mostly in Latin America. So maybe at least my little journey will take kind of some of my part of my life after the pandemic is kind of coming to a close and start start something, start, you know, take a new turn, take this whole, everything that's happening with the pandemic, like as like a, a trigger, like the time is now to take that next step, right? In life and to take that new risk. Um, again, is a little bit vague, but um, yeah, I mean, and I hope, everyone you know you know that just good health and and you know positivity i i i really it's been really tough i think for a lot of people so the more we can share and hopefully be in person with each other again is it it, it you know will be good um yeah <laughs> i'm so <laughs> i don't know what's that's what it is. You know, we don't we don't do this professionally. We're doing it live. It's community environment. So community folks, again, appreciate you being here. Uh, any thoughts out there for the youth that you want them to know or be aware of, especially as an engineer or a musician that's gone around the world and traveled with your music? Uh, what would you like to tell them? Yeah, you've asked me this question a few times, and I think my answer is always very similar. Um, don't stop, you know, just keep doing don't get discouraged like you know you have to just keep trying and i know that sounds again like 
super simple. It's, it's simple, but it's not easy, right? You just, you got to keep going. As long as we're on this earth, possibilities are, are there. And if you keep your mind open to those possibilities, you'll see them. They're all around us. So don't, don't get discouraged and know that, you know, everything, things don't, things come, but then you also have to, you know, it takes, it takes effort. It takes dedication. Um, and that work can be fun though, right? It doesn't have to be the negative connotation that work has. Work is fun. For me, work is fun. Like I, I am obsessive about music, for example, it takes thousands and thousands of hours, right? So, but, um, yeah, I would just say, just, just, yeah, just don't stop. <laughs> All right, everybody, once again, please give it up for Renee Rasteria. Muchas gracias otra vez. Yeah, yeah. And right now, again, we just want to say thank you to the Arlene Francis Center because, uh, you know, we came out here this year, uh, me, Falcon, and we were like, yo, we need a space to go and like record bands because they're not letting us at KPFA for this year and a half now, you know? So we had to figure out a way to do that and keep it small and keep it simple. And so we like to, uh, you know, recognize the Arlene Francis Center for doing this for us and like allowing us to be here today and to provide this space as we are streaming as well live on Facebook. Uh, this is something that's part of the collaboration we started as well. It's something that we've been doing throughout the year and behind the scenes, kind of putting up the camera so folks can be able to get their visual out there too of what we're doing in here. Uh, and again, this is all through the pandemic and we're like what we're talking about, sacrificing to come up and be able to have a space like this and like a platform is really like makes makes it possible for folks to be able to get out a little bit, as little bit as possible, you know, so we can still be safe, but we can still provide music on the airwaves, on live stream. And so with that, I'm going to say thank you to the Arlene Francis Center again. Thank you, Colleen. And thank you, Jimmy. Thank you to Martin Hamilton. And uh, before we move on, we just want to say rest in peace to all those folks who have been uh, passed, who have passed on due to COVID, due to the nonviolence, the violence, senseless violence in our streets. You know, we just send our thoughts and prayers out there to the familias, to the families that go through this kind of uh, trauma, this kind of processing, and that are still going through it right now. So we say our thoughts are with you. Uh, right now, we got Lyric, Ab Lyric Raven, who's going to be with us. Whoa. And so, Lyric Raven, give it up for Lyric Raven, everybody. I think the lights are affecting me. <laughs> um, do we need a mic stand for you? Here we go. And why don't you just, uh, once you get set up, why don't you tell them where they can find your music real quick as well, just before we start, so they know. You know? Hi, I'm Lyric Raven. Um, I actually, my band and I have an album coming out in the new year. Um, so if you want to hear updates on that, you can follow me on Instagram, Lyric Raven Music, um, TikTok, I'm getting it really into, Lyric Raven and Friends. And um, hope when that album comes out, um, I'll have some other ones coming out after that, and then I'll be on Spotify and all that. But for now, you can catch me on the Facebooks and the Instagrams. Um, this uh, I'm going to sing a couple songs that are going to be on our EP. Um, my band's called Saffron Sunrise. These are songs that I wrote. Uh, this one is called Play. I get a little more mic in my, thank you. You get that. 
that feeling bumbling inside, inside, inside. Open up the doors and let out your inner child, child, inner child. But when you get frustrated and get in your own way. Remember, it's all temporary, and let it go. Gonna let it go. Oh, oh, oh. gonna let yourself play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna let it go. Oh, Anxiety melt away. Yeah. 
Playing with possibility Playing Playing Play with possibility Play with possibility song is called Child of the Sun. It's going to be one of our singles on our EP. And um, I wrote this song during um, the fires last year while I was evacuated, hanging out in Oakland. Ciao. 
child of the sun I But a drop in the ocean was a mantra song, if you couldn't tell. Um, this next one is, um, I like to do sacred healing concerts sometimes. And so this is also sing along at the end, so get ready. But the first part is just kind of like a meditation. So feel free to close your eyes or Lay down if you want, <laughs> get comfy, and just breathe.
Before you decide to go, just wanted to take a minute and see if you can just let us know a little bit about yourself and, uh, you know, how did you start playing the guitar and singing so well? <laughs> um, thank you. That was a lot of fun. Um, I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota originally, but I'm a former resident of the Bay Area. I've been living in Santa Cruz. Um, uh, my dad actually taught me how to play guitar and give me all my guitars. He's an excellent guitar player, so I got the rock and roll in my blood from him. And I've been singing since my grandparents' the audience. They can say I've been singing since forever, really, since two, three years old, and started writing songs when I was ten. And so it's I've always known this is what I want to do, and this is my gift to share. And I really feel like music is the path to world peace, you know, it's the universal language. So we all can heal together through music. It's really important. And tell us a little bit about some of the projects uh, that you've been working on, you know, cause again, you know, like you're going to leave a seat out there, so to speak, you know, so. Yeah, totally. Uh, like I said, I'm really excited about this EP. Um, my rock band and I, uh, Saffron Sunrise, it's all songs that I wrote. Um, we're almost done. We're just doing the kind of the final touches before we go get it mixed and mastered. And um, so that's really exciting. And, and then I have an album coming out after that, um, that is songs from the last, you know, six, seven years and new ones and old ones. And um, it's kind of these lifelong projects. Sometimes it takes like 10 years to put out an album, you know, sometimes it takes a day. It's just kind of, but yeah, I'm in the long game of some projects bubbling. Um, so the best way to follow along is to join my Patreon. Um, I'm about to take a leap of faith and head south for the winter, go to Mexico. So um, if you want to follow my adventures, you can find me on Patreon, Lyric Raven and Friends, I'm posting lots of recipes and doing live streams and unreleased songs and videos. And I'm getting really into TikTok. So if any of you guys like TikTok, uh, Lyric Raven and Friends, I'm going to be sharing a lot of um, tidbits there and mantra songs mostly and uh you mentioned that you you were talking about the fires a little bit uh you don't you you were impacted by the fires a little bit uh tell us a little bit about that experience and you know what motivated you to like write that song yeah wow i think uh anyone on the west coast has been impacted but um yeah i was living in the santa cruz mountains when the um santa cruz lightning fire happened and that was pretty scary. Luckily, the house I was living in didn't get burned down. But um, yeah, you know, it's kind of just seems like a part of our reality now every year. And it's it's really rough um, to have it be a beautiful summertime. But, you know, you can't go outside. You can't breathe. You can't see the sun. And um, so I had the blessing to, to get to go and be um, evacuated in this little studio I had to myself in Piedmont. And um, I kind of just was playing around with that guitar part first. And like I said, I really like mantras and affirmations and, um, you know, the I'm but a drop in the ocean, I'm but a grain of sand is kind of a good reminder to be, we're part of this microcosm of this huge macrocosm of the universe. And um, 
So yeah, that one, not all songs come out that way, but that one came out that way. Guitar first, um, word second, and it's just kind of, boop. Muse well, just brought it. Well, I appreciate you bringing it up because again, a lot of folks forget sometimes, you know, that hundreds of people have been impacted by these fires and, you know, they're homeless. They're still homeless folks that are not able to go back to their houses because they got burned down. And so we want to just send our thoughts out there to the homeless folks that got him into this situation Seriously. by the fires, you know? So thank you for reminding us. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's been really rough and climate change is happening. And I just hope that we can continue to rebuild and prepare a little bit better because it's just going to keep being disasters, you know? You gotta help each other out. Write songs about it. <laughs> Word. Well, once again, we want to say thank you to you, Lyric Raven. And uh, any last thoughts or comments out there for the youth that you want to let them know? Um, yeah, I actually am a music teacher for the youth. And I'm just really excited, actually, about the next generations coming up. And I really, th you know, um, yeah, follow your heart. Um, listen to your intuition. Um, don't any let anyone else tell you who you are. Be whoever you want to be. And... Um, yeah, get started with music young. The younger, the better. Music or art or whatever, you know, feeds your souls. Um, start now and yeah, never stop. Like, she, like Renee said, <laughs> keep going. And I really think, yeah, art is is the healing and we need it now more than ever, so. Most definitely. Well, once again, thank you very much. Give it up to thank Larry you so much. everybody. <laughs> and right now, we just want to say we want to give it up to the youth out there. We saw marches in San Francisco this December happening against sexual assaults in the schools and trying to make sure that the SFUSD takes care of their students and creates a safe space. So shout outs to all the youth that marched, that protested, that demanded a safe space for their families, their loved ones, their brothers and sisters. And tonight we are actually honored to have two generations with us of the family Otis, who are gonna be blessing us on this microphone and on this stage. But the grandpa, Johnny Otis, was actually part of KPFA and uh, was there holding it down in the community, for the community, by the community, bringing you oldies till, you know, the night he could no more, right? And so again, Tonight, we just want to say thank you to the ancestors for putting us in this space and time to be here, to be able to hear this music, this generational music that you're about to hear. So please welcome Nick and Nico Otis right here at the Arlene Francis Center on KPFA, going full circle. That's the show before us, but we are La Onda Bajita. Kivole. Thank you for being here. Why don't you go ahead and tell them your name and... What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? Yeah. Where can they find your music? Who? Uh, my name is Nico Otis. That's my dad right there. That's Nick Otis. Um, you can find my music on all streaming platforms. So Spotify, Apple Music, whatever you have. N-I-K-O-O-T-I-S. So yeah, definitely follow me there. I'm dropping about two songs a month. So trying to keep that up, trying to keep the momentum going. Um, this first song is called Head in the Clouds. And it's on all streaming platforms as well.
musical comedy of life, won't you? Let me keep my spirit shining bright, cause I, cause I done packed my bags up in the night, no I, no I can be tied down in this life, no, no, not this time. I know, I know, I know. Glass half full, can't stay around if I feel that pull. Can't hold me down, I'ma have to go. Dancing around, this a last mambo. Thank you. Appreciate y'all. That song is called Head in the Clouds on all streaming platforms as well. Make some noise for my dad real quick. That's Nick Otis right there. Yeah, yeah. This next one is called I Need You. <clears throat> Like what if I'm no good? What if I never make it? I'm scared of losing my will, afraid of being complacent. I know that sometimes when you talk to me, it feels like I'm vacant. But look, I apologize and no one may seem as if I ain't here and I'm off in a dream. Looking at the photo scope will get you lost, huh? Guess that's what happens when you know you really want some. I know oftentimes that I am hard to read, and I don't tell you what it is that I need, but I just need you by my side, baby, blossom. I know when I'm when I feel. Me. 
like all of the ominous overthought comes It's obviously not as bad as I thought there was prior to talking with the people who send you Keep you on 10 and 2 and change your perspective to optimistic The object of the game is to listen to your heart as well as the hearts that surround you You're not bound to one, balance baby, balance moves uh, So I'ma shift my weight, I got a strong family base, they always keeping me straight I'ma set my pace, cause at the end of the day, I know I'm the only one that's getting in my way I know I'm the only one that's getting in my way I know I'm the only one that's getting in my way Thank you. That one was called I Need You. You can also find that anywhere you find music. This is the last one we're about to do. It's called Telling You. I just put it out a few days ago. So definitely be on the lookout for that one too. Everybody give it up for Nico Otis. Yeah, yeah. 
Word. It's an honor, an honor right here being on stage with you. And, you know, again, Thank big you. ups to the youth, you know, for keeping the music going. Tell us a little bit about yourself and, you know, how long you've been making music. Right. So my name is Nigotis once again. Um, I kind of just grew up around music with my dad playing drums and my grandfather being Johnny Otis, you know, doing rock and roll all over the world and everything like that. So it's just kind of just grew up with it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But um, I first started doing music myself probably when I was about 11 years old. Started writing songs, started writing rhymes. And then um, I guess I started taking it more seriously about uh, three or four years ago, really trying to like pursue it and make it a career. And I hear a little bit of rock influence. Is that, is that what you would call it? Or what, what are some of the, what would you like kind of say the genre that you're mixing there with the singing, the vocals? Like what, are, what, what kind of genre would you call that? It's a hard call. I think it's just genre bending hip hop rap you know i like to take elements from everything every different style of music most styles of music definitely like soul um rock influence for sure with with vocals and then um just very technical lyrics is like my favorite thing to do yeah nice nice yeah sounds really good uh tell me a little bit about jamming with your pops and your dad you know like what what are what is it like you know when when you have them drumming and you're like man i I wish I could be like that or you know, make a yeah. beat like that, you know, out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, this is actually one of the first, the, the first time we've ever done like a live performance thing like that before. We've messed around and jammed before, but so this is really cool. It's actually an awesome opportunity to be able to do something with my dad like that. Hopefully we got more coming soon. Yeah. Nice. And, you know, 2022 coming up, uh, you know, what are some new projects you're looking at or something that you, you look forward to in that sense of what we didn't get? 2021 right so i'm trying to play as many shows in different cities as possible if i can pull that off and um i'm trying to drop two songs a month and just keep building and keep dropping more material and stay consistent with things like that and um i have a project with a friend of mine named mystic misfit coming out um we don't have a release date yet but we have a whole ep we're about to release and then i have a solo ep that i'm working on as well as well as the two monthly single situation so just trying to build things up, you know? Word, word. And, you know, what kept you motivated in music? Because, you know, a lot of youth end up, you know, doing other things or not going down the road of music. Like, what keeps you in music? I think what keeps me making music is the satisfaction that it brings. That is like nothing else really can give you that same satisfaction that if you if this is like your thing you know this is it's hard to stop doing that when you stop for a short period of time you start feeling bad about it so you got to keep up on it you know because it really it, it's feeding something that you can't really get out of anything else you know it's kind of like playing a, a game you know a soccer game and you score a goal and like wow that's like a never-ending feeling because it yeah. might be the only goal you scored <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> ever you know yeah. Just like me, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, definitely appreciate your music. And you know, what are some things that you would say to the youth out there? You know, because like I'm saying, you know, you're a, you're a youth yourself. So tell 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 the youth what you would tell other youth out there in that sense of you know. Um, why I feel it's like important. people think they have to wait for things to be. A lot of kids feel like they have to wait for the time to be perfect to do something. You just got to start as as soon as you get the idea to do it and then you might not be that good at first but you'll get better and you'll get where you'll work through the nerves that you had and because i feel like nervousness just comes from um knowing that you should you should be doing that like if that's something that you really want to do you know so it's like just just do it anyways no matter what your brain's telling you or whatever that's right that's right well once again nick we want to say thank you to you for being here with us um any last thoughts or comments out there uh, yeah, just once again, Nico Otis, N-I-K-O-O-T-I-S. You can find me on um, all social media. I'm on Instagram, Nico underscore Otis. I'm on TikTok, same thing, Nico underscore Otis. Um, and my music's on Spotify, Apple Music, all that. And yeah, be on the lookout for more songs for sure. And I said Nick, right? But you're Nick, Nico. And I'm Nico. Nick is your dad. Yeah, Nick's Man, my dad. All right. It's confusing. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Thank you very Thank much you. again. Appreciate it. And right now, we're going to bring up Nick Otis and his partner in crime or music, I should say, Matt 
coming up as the Bossa Nova duo. Give it up for the Bossa Nova duo, everybody. You will live. We got Nick Otis and Matt in the house. Thank you. And thank you for having my son here. Really appreciate it. It's an honor. Thank you, guys.
Thanks a lot. Thank you. That's Matt Silver on guitar, Nick Otis on the drums. We're the Bossa Nova duo. Duo, 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 duo. Do as you will. Do as you do. But don't do do. Do do.
Thank you, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, everybody, give it up for Nick Otis and the Bossa Nova duo. We got Matt Silva in the house, too. Give it up, give it up. Thank you, thank you. Come on up, everybody. Let's see. We got Nick, Nick, Nick O, and Matt right here coming through. So, man, it's an honor right here. We got. Nick Otis, uh, Nick, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, what you've been doing, how long you've been drumming. I've been playing since 1973. Gotten into music um, because of the family. We come home to big, giant rehearsals in the living room with Big Joe Turner and the Johnny Otis show uh, performing. And so obviously that really affected my whole 
thing and got me into music. From there on, just kept playing. And why the drums? Tell us a little bit about that. Well, actually, my first instrument was uh, piano. It was um, classical piano. I took two years, and then the drums took over. So from about 10 years old to about 12 years old, I uh, studied classical piano. And uh, I was okay, but I liked the drums better. I still play piano, of course, which hence the keyboard over to the side. Um, I can't keep my hands still, so I, uh, I like playing a bunch of every, everything at once. So. As I look at my <laughs> hands. <laughs> no, definitely uh, tell us a little bit about some of your influences. You know, uh, you're talking about you've been around making music since the 70s. Uh, tell us a little bit about your influences. Oh, yeah. Well, the 70s, the 60s, my dad's band was rehearsing. So along with those guys, I heard all the music they loved from Count Basie to O.V. Wright, Bobby Blue Bland, all the L.A. blues and R&B pioneers on up through to, uh, I was coming up through uh, the 70s. So Led Zeppelin and Black Sabbath sank in there too. So I'm pretty versatile. I, I like uh, classical music. I just love all music of all, all types. It keeps me happy. Nice, and you know, tell us a little bit about some of the changes uh, we you've seen in music. Uh, you know, I see you're using electronic music devices over here. Uh, I don't know if you're making techno as well, you know, you never know. Yeah, yeah, I like all music, so I'm, I'm dabbling in all areas of music all the time, trying to put it into one big ball and throw it against the wall and see what sticks, as they say. How, how do you like the, <laughs> in the sense of what the new electronic music, you know, with the drums that you're using, uh, how did you incorporate that as well? It was always there, kind of. Uh, I was lucky being with musician family. They'd have keyboards and stuff around the house. So I was always playing whatever they had. I was a lucky kid to uh, have a Arp Odyssey to play on or, you know, an organ, B3 organ or grand piano. You know, I was lucky. I was lucky. And uh, who are some of the people that you still remember uh, playing or jamming with that, you know, might have ended up becoming famous? Um, people I've backed up in the Johnny Oda shows, it's so numerous I can't really start up. But Chuck Berry, Etta James, Esther Phillips, you know, um, older folks, old school like Big Joe Turner, Eddie Cleanhead Vincent, people like that. Wow. That's, <laughs> those aren't just little names. <laughs> yeah, and I'm still, I'm recording, uh, I'm, I, I'm still in the studio a lot with people. Uh, the Honey Drops, I did some stuff just recently with the California Honey Drops um, with Kid Anderson um, at the Greaseland Studios. Did quite a few records there. Um, Quinn DeVoe and um, got to play with uh, Jeremy Jamat, the bass player, which was a big pleasure. So yeah, I'm still doing stuff and doing my original music, which should be coming out soon. Um, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I was just going to ask you, uh, what are you looking forward for 2022 in that sense of, you know, uh, what's that, almost 40 years in music, right? Yeah, 2023 yeah. Coming around the corner. Man, really? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know how Hi. to do math, so. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's, you, you got it, buddy. Oh, boy. Anyhow. No, I'm proud of it. Um, I want to travel again. I got used to traveling, playing music with my father's band and other bands of course my brother Shiggy Otis um, you know I want to travel again <laughs> please I want to travel again. And, let's do it let's all I'm, go somewhere now and I'm glad you brought up your father uh, tell us a little bit one memory or a couple memories you you remember about your father you know Johnny Otis uh, big legend right here on KPFA yeah well he was a man of many different things you know um, art books he wrote a couple books um see one's called upside your head the other book was called listen to the lambs um also a lot of people probably don't know he was a really good cartoonist he drew a lot of cartoons for nico when he was young and uh it's pretty cute and um he was also a very good cook <laughs> so those are my 
really good memories of going fishing with him and coming home and frying them up and eating them and even invite the band over, which was a good ploy for to get them over to the house. With a big old plate of fish, spaghetti, salad, and a, a big rehearsal of blues, R&B, and jazz. Well, definitely appreciate you, you know, being here today and uh, bringing this memory up of Johnny Otis as well. And, you know, rest in peace, Johnny Otis. And yeah. definitely thank you for all he did in the community and the impact he brought to us uh, in all the rock and roll, you know. Man, shout outs to that, you know. Thank you. Um, any any thoughts for the youth? You know, you've been around doing music for 40 years. Yeah. Almost, so what would you say to the youth? Why is it important to stick it out and try to get there and you know, continue making music. Um, it's important for you to keep staying in it to it, keep playing music because it's uh, like Nico said, it just brings enjoyment no matter what. It's a uh, it's a good thing for the community. Um, it keeps you out of trouble, <laughs> which helped me a lot when I was a kid. I'm from LA, and I was plenty of trouble to get into there, but I didn't because I was in music, and I always had something to do musically and it just opens your heart you know just keep on doing it kids no matter what word word and once again we just want to say thank you to you and definitely appreciate you being here and your son too nico and matt thank you, thank you matt silva yeah. and again yeah. you know i want to just remind folks that we've been here doing this for about a year and i think it took us about three months to get you here yeah, 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 and, um, I got pretty sick, you know, we all probably got sick last year, and uh, it's a blessing, I feel like I have a second chance here to pull through that and realize in your bed at home, you know, stuck at home like we all were, how important and wonderful that this entertainment world and music and, and creative process that man has, that we can just take this and just for use sure. it wisely most definitely well you know i'm glad we were able to make it happen and definitely appreciate you coming by and uh want to say thank you to you and, and your son again for being here and all the artists for being here uh any last thoughts or comments you want to leave us with love is the way that's right thank you again everybody <laughs> again this is Nick Otis, right here. Give it thank up, you, give it thank up. Thank you, thank you, KPFA. Thank you, Alonda Bajita. Yeah, yeah. Again, thank you. Appreciate it so much. Name's... You ready, Johnny? Man, come on up, Johnny. Johnny came through from San Francisco, so here we go. Give it up for Johnny B, everybody. That happens sometimes. <laughs> Hi, my name is Johnny V. I'm from Queens, New York. I moved to San Francisco in 2016. That's why this next song I'm about to perform is called Take Me Back to 2016. Off my new album called Euphoria, Volume 1. And yeah, it's about nostalgia. <laughs> Back to 2016, that's when I was 
that happens sometimes. <laughs> well, hi, my name is Johnny V. I'm from Queens, New York. I moved to San Francisco in 2016. That's why this next song I'm about to perform is called Take Me Back to 2016. Off my new album called Euphoria, Volume 1. And yeah, it's about nostalgia. <laughs>
song is more happy. Got me feeling so good. Yeah, you got me in good spirits. Good spirits. Yeah, you got me in the uplifted Yeah, you got me in good spirits Goddamn girl, you are so gifted So gifted And I'm not gonna lie You would put me in a good vibe I love being by your side I find peace looking to those eyes Yeah, those beautiful brown eyes Yeah, you got me feeling so gifted, you so gifted Yeah, you got me in good spirits, yeah, I'm addicted Yeah, sure, they got me feeling so addictive I ain't gonna lie, I really would be committed I ain't just trying to hit it I ain't just trying to hit it Yeah, I'll be committed i get you out that situation That situation Check, check, one, two, one, uh, two. That was working. <laughs> check, check, one, two. Microphone. Yeah, check. yeah. What up, what up? Johnny, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you got a, you got an interesting style, bro. Tell us, uh, you know, how long you've been making music and how'd you find this style, bro? Uh, well, I've been making music, like, I want to say seriously since 2019 or 2018, only because, like, I, I used to just mess around and, like, do random freestyles and stuff because I was always around music. But I say I started taking music seriously, like, the past three years and, like, really, like, working on, like, sharpening my craft and all that. Uh, thanks to, like, Sunset Youth Services, Upstar Records, like, they really got me to be at the level where I could, like, self rely on myself like mix master make beats um like actually a couple of these songs actually all these songs i actually mixed myself and then i would go with rhymo and he would master it but all these like sound engineering design ideas these are all mine and then just i just take it to someone to get mastered and then funny valentine i actually produced that so i act, i'm learning to make my own beats as well um yeah and just for uh, <clears throat> excuse me, just for folks, uh, where can they already find your music? Um, you can find my music on all streaming platforms, Johnny V, and that's spelled like J N Y dot V, and that's how you can find me on all streaming services and all that. And uh, why don't you go ahead and tell folks, you know, like what what was uh, something that makes you feel like confident when you came up to the stage? Because you you feel like you know you got the stage down, bro. Uh, what is what are some advice you would give in that sense of confidence bro um well i know my songs in the sense like i really like my own music so i think that confidence comes from believing in yourself right you know so if you like your yourself you know 
it's not on anyone else to like you, but as long as you like yourself and that's what makes you happy, then just do that. That's my advice. That's what's up. And, uh, you know, do you have any performances coming up that folks might yeah, know about? Yeah, I have a performance December 17th in San Francisco um, in the Evolved. I believe that's like on 24th and Mission. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be performing with Barnzilla, T Venom, and a couple other people that I could think of. And Kinomo probably will be on my set um, if he's not busy that day. And, you know, just for like, I was asking folks, uh, it's the year, the last Friday of the month is for this Friday. I mean, the last Friday, of, the last Friday of this month is going to be the last year of the month. Yeah. Uh, last Friday of the year. There we go. I got it. Yes. Oh, is this Friday something? The last <laughs> Friday of the year? Man, it's complicated. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll tell you. But what are you What are you hoping for 2022, bro? Like, it's coming up. Um, in 2022, I'm just thankful to be alive. I mean, honestly, this past two years, I've dealt with loss of loss. I lost a couple homies this year. Um, one of my homies actually produced the beat for Take Me Back to 2016, Gully Voorhees. And... Um, I'm just thankful to be alive, you know, and continue to work on my art and express myself authentically. I, I think that's what music should be. It should be you authentically being your true self. And music is my therapy, so I use music to heal. And at the end of the day, like, it makes me happy. And it's way better than going to some random therapist that's trying to give me, uh, what's it called, Lexicon and Prozac to be numb. <laughs> that's what's up bro that's that's facts right there well appreciate you being here and uh any last thought or comment that you want to let the folks know uh well i guess like well i guess a thought to give out to like the future generations uh honestly just believe in yourself and that will take you far in life because as long as you believe in what you want to do in life you could conquer it like, look like i moved from the east coast all the way to the west coast on my own my family is not in the greatest situation financially so you know i did that all on my own and i think like as long as you put your mind to something you'll get better at whatever you're doing like music like you're not going to be like kanye west the first day but as long as you put in hours and work make a song, freestyle every day, write something to make you sharper at your craft. You'll find your sound and you'll find what works for you. And it's all about finding who is for you because there's so much people in the world that not everyone's gonna gravitate to you, but there's gonna be people that do. So don't really focus on the negative, like, oh, this person doesn't like me or whatever. Just be happy with the, the results that you get every year. Don't compare yourself to nobody else but you. As long as you keep growing and leveling up in life, that's all that matters. That's what's up, Johnny. Appreciate you. All right. Once again, give it up for Johnny V, everybody. In the house. New York, New York. Be right here again on the second Sunday of the month for right here, uh, Arlene, Arlene Francis Center. We just want to say thank you to you again. Happy New Year to all those folks who celebrate the Gregorian calendar. Shout outs to Falcon, always making it happen. Jimmy, you know how it goes. And shout outs to Martin Hamilton too for letting us be here and uh, cruising by tonight, actually making making the rounds, you know. So shout outs to you, Martin. I see you. And so we just want, and Colleen, yes, that's right. We can't forget about Colleen. And shout outs to all the artists that came through all year long, right here from Sonoma, Santa Rosa, Petaluma, Sebastopol. We had all these artists check out our archives and mucho más. Again, we just want to say thank you to everyone out there. Thank you to the Four Directions and thank you to the ancestors for letting us be here today. Aho, Metaku, Yasi, all my relations. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>